It's still five apiece. It's set to boil up into a really good one. It's certainly simming the point of the pan lid flying across at the hockey. One out! And Taylor straight into the maximum zone. The third maximum of this particular match is 19th of the tournament in total. 45. First to 13 legs. Kim Hybrex. The hurricane has blown into mine head. One hundred and a ferocious pace. Put himself on the map. Forty six. He's not started well after the break as Kim Hybrex. Taylor is flying. Yeah, if you look at it in mini sessions, five apiece at the moment doesn't want to lose a session more than 3 2. 3 2 is okay because you're still hanging in there. Crowd certainly getting into boisterous mood here in Minehead. And Taylor just setting this one up nicely to take, he hopes, this first leg after the break. Taylor will come back to the board needing just 32. Double 16 for the advantage to go 6 5 in front. And only one dot required. Business done. Taylor edges ahead. First leg after the break. Hit a maximum in that leg. Hybex can just stay with him. 58. Moves up the gears. Hasn't come out of the second break. As quickly as he would like. Taylor's match average at this stage, just under 104. 100. Reflecting his tournament average, pretty much the same. Hurricanes can cause power cuts, but Taylor looks, 84. from a high break perspective, ominously relaxed up there, doesn't he? He certainly does. He's been here before so many times, as we all know, even in the boisterous crowd, certainly at some of the Premier Leagues and the major finals. So he knows what it's all about. This is new for Kim Hybrex. He's responded OK up to now, but he's got to continue that all the way through the game. A few distractions in the crowd. I think one or two people who've uh, overdone it are being invited to uh, pursue the rest of their evening elsewhere. How distracting is it to the uh, how distracting is it to the players when they're getting that sort of racket, which isn't isn't involved one around one. actually isn't actually involved around the darts. How, I mean, how much of a distraction is it? Well, it can be if you're not focused, but it's generally a noise out of the blue. If there's a continual kind of cheer. It's not too bad. It's when you get a noise out of the blue that's more distracting than anything else. But it is very, very loud in this arena. And the crowd have been here all weekend. 4,000 plus are getting a bit jolty, John. 100. Can we require 142? Well, high breaks here. He's under pressure and he can't get out this time. So Taylor can strike. Against the darts here 45. in this hot, hot atmosphere in Minor. 80. Well, bag of nails there from Hybrex. Let Taylor have this chance. Is he going to take it? 20 for tops. Tops for Taylor to have a little bit of a cushion. 40. Well, Hybrex needs to take Can out the 97. 97. Yeah, you suspect that he's got to do it this time. You wouldn't think that he's going to get another opportunity in this particular leg. That's a good dart. Double 12 now to go back to six all. Oh, that's Game quality. Side. That really is quality. Kept his Game nerve over. and found a Four real high-pressure finish. Yeah, fantastic finish from Hybrex there. Stood back, focused. And what a fantastic double 12 that was. Six apiece. 10 behind on the average, but it's the score that matters. Six apiece is 99. the score.
sometimes get these talents who come into big tournaments and who His best performance in front of the big crowd and in a TV final. I'm wow. speaking to his uh, manager earlier on and he's uh, really impressed and optimistic about the way in which he's, he's handling this pressure at this pressure environment. I mean, listen to the racket here. Huge. Wow. And Hydrex is really matching Taylor at this stage. And one good thing about playing three games on one day the fact that you don't have to stew overnight thinking about your next game. Three can take a very quick turnaround, so can sometimes work in your favour. Taylor might just uh, choose to uh, square this one up. I don't know, he's not sure he's going to go for this. Well, he can't go for it anyway now. Yeah, we Hybrex saw two magnificent finishes, didn't we, in the previous game? Oh, absolutely. I tell you what, though, Hybrex was unlucky in that last visit to just the wrong side of the wire. It could easily have been 180, and then it would look very different here. 57. Phil will require 60. Taylor to hold. Double 20 for double four is the sequence. Double four, top right, two darts for it. Double two. Hybrex back on 144. He's going to get a throw at it. He's taken out some good shots. This would be a better one. Well, if he takes this one out, there will be those who suspect that it's going to be his day. But it wasn't to be. And so Taylor will come back again, pursuing down the bottom of the board. Double two. Well, Madhouse for Taylor. It's Hybrex who will be marked. A glimpse of an opportunity. Couldn't quite get to the double. Taylor ends up. And Madhouse. Yeah. Not often you see that. John. A face like thunder as well as he turned out 16. to the crowd. As much as to say, just concentrate on what's happening up here. Let's just keep it sensible. Yeah, I think he was more worried about the doubts at the double. It's dropped, dropped down to 101. As you can see there, Hybrex around 10 behind. But still, One with throw. 36. Yeah, if he serves this one out, it's back to level pegging. 99. He's got to keep there. Only started with 60. Oh, Taylor. Big, big chance. And that's a great light. Can he put any more in there? Yeah, there's another. One hundred quite a maximum, 40. but still putting the pressure on Hybrex. Yeah, big pressure. Good response. 100. But not enough. And Taylor, well, if he takes this one, he's going to be fancying going to the next break at 9 6. Yeah, he's going to have to switch down for 19. Yeah, good cover shot 34. from Taylor. Left 91 after 9. Ibex through first in this leg. Good cover shot, another one will help immensely. Yeah, great dance there from Hybrex. Keeps him interested in the leg. Very much so. Taylor then, 91. Treble 14 will be his next attempt. Now, he's not going to have a shot here. He should have gone for the ball 51. to at least give him a chance. Can you require going for the treble, you have to hit one. If he takes this out here, which he's got the chance, 18 for double 18. It's gone a different way this time. Nine, and six. just the wrong side Four, of the wire. By fractions. Taylor nearly paid the price. Tops he needs for 8 6. And he's having to move over the hockey. The angle the Phil's darts covers it well. A long way off there. Can he make amends? Double time for 8 6. Well, he knows, he knows. That was a, a key moment. Was that a, a rare tactical blunder? Probably. Come on, get off the fence, it's what you paid for. Probably. 
knowing Phil. I think he's more disgruntled with the fact that he's not taking out the doubles cleanly. But the last two legs, he hasn't been put under any pressure. Ibrox just for the moment going off the boil. Now he needs to fire back, really does. He needs to get back into that purple patch that we've seen so often in the tournament, Hybrex. Average has sunk back to around about 92 now, Kim Hybrex. Taylor still up over the ton. Good cover shot. 124. Fifty-seven. Break at the end of this, and Taylor, if he goes in nine six rather than eight seven, big difference. First to thirteen will take the title. One hundred and thirty-seven. Kevin Painter won it last year. Taylor looking to regain what he will view as his title. Eighty-two. Send out another we message. Require one hundred and forty-five. Just when you thought it was all over, it certainly ain't. Double 14, he looks for. One hundred. That would have been spectacular. Hybrecht's way, way back. Yeah, a long way back here. Another break after this leg, and it's looking ominous. 95. 9-6, it was 5 out the previous break. We did say 4-1 would have been a disaster for Hybrecht's. 28 he wants. Minimal adjustment. It's not there, I don't think. It's not. He thought he was in. And it's going to have to go now for double seven. Mm -hmm. This for nine six. Taylor thought he got that one. 20. Well, he was doing his break dancing impression over the hockey there. Well, he didn't go for it. Thought no. he was going to go for double seven. And he went for the six just to set it up. Set it up. Yeah, he checked the score. And now he's going to be under pressure. He's going to be under great pressure. Great maximum from Hybrex. So Taylor eight. then, double four. Game shot of 15. He may have been under a bit of pressure. Hybrex may have got the maximum, but Taylor gets the dart that really counts. And into the break, he's just starting to edge further away in pursuit of this 60,000 quid prize for the players' champion. And Taylor leading 9 6.